Can you make a four-armed character in D&D 5e? Is there a way to create a four-armed character in 5e using only the rules from hardcover books? The extra arms must be able to function like normal arms. Ideally they would get to use a bonus action to attack. But that's not required. The arms do not have to be permanent but must last at least eight hours. Utility and having a Goro-like appearance is most important. I know the easy way is to modify a Thri Kreen as a playable race. But I'm looking for something official and within the current printed rules. I'm 99% sure that the official rules don't allow extra arms as part of your regular form, but I'm not particularly familiar with all the rulebooks, especially the latest ones. That being said, one method is of course using true polymorph. To polymorph into, for example, a Merilith, which even gives you six arms. I don't think any beast has four arms, so regular polymorph is insufficient. Either way, I don't think that's what you're after, so I'll not elaborate on the topic too much. Here's a short list of creatures I could find that are described as having multiple arms, though Merilith, M. P. 61. Star Spawn Mangler, M. T. O. F. P. 236. Dire Troll MTOF P243 Horde of the Dragon Queen apparently also has four armed trolls while being released before MTOF was around hence not using the Dire Troll stat block but since I haven't played that module yet I don't want to spoil myself Core Spawn Crawler EGTW P285 probably not what you're looking for the arms aren't exactly humanoid Dolgrim ERFTLW P291 Another possibility is Unearthed Arcana. Mind you, Ua is not part of the official rules, it's merely Wizards of the Coast's playtesting material which might or might not be released as official rules later on. With that cleared up, Unearthed Arcana, Wild Astral, gives you the monk subclass. Way of the Astral Self, which in turn has the feature. Arms of the Astral Self. At third level, your mastery of your key allows you to summon a portion of your Astral Self. On your turn, you can spend two key points as a bonus action to summon the arms of your astral self for 10 minutes. These spectral arms hover near your shoulders. You determine the arms' appearance based on the qualities of your character. While your astral arms are summoned, you gain the following benefits. You can use your wisdom modifier in place of your strength modifier when making strength checks and strength saving throws. The arms are monk weapons and have a reach of 10 feet. The arms deal radiant or necrotic damage, your choice. When you attack with the arms, you can use your Wisdom modifier instead of your Strength or Dexterity modifier for the attack and damage rolls. Immediately after you use the attack action with your Astral Arms on your turn, you can make one extra attack with your Astral Arms as a bonus action. The number of extra attacks increases when you reach certain levels in this class, increasing to 2 at 11th level and 3 at 17th level. These also don't quite suit your criteria, seeing how they only last 10 minutes unless you spend more key points, but even then you're far from 8 hours and because Ra doesn't say they can be used for mundane tasks such as opening a door or holding an item. Of course, your DM might interpret this one way or another, but considering they're spectral, it sounds to me like they're not quite physically there and thus can only be used to make attacks. Keep in mind that this is unearthed arcana and therefore unrefined playtesting material, an officially released version would likely mention whether or not they can be used for things other than attacking, such as holding a shield or firing a crossbow. Either way, they fulfill one of your criteria, they can be used as a bonus action and in addition, on higher levels they even gain a bonus to damage rolls once per turn level 11, as well as allowing you to attack thrice when taking the attack action level 17. Even though the Way of the Astral Self. Subclass doesn't quite fulfill your criteria, I'm afraid it's the closest thing you can get if you're limited to the official rules and unearthed arcana. Honorable mentions. There are several options in the rules that are similar to having multiple arms. Credit goes to someone underscore evil and medics too. Loxodon Trunk, a race from GGTR P. 1718. These elephant-like humanoids have a trunk that can be used for various purposes. Trunk. You can grasp things with your trunk, and you can use it as a snorkel. LT has a reach of 5 feet, and it can lift a number of pounds equal to 5 times your strength score. You can use it to do the following simple tasks, lift, drop, hold, push, or pull an object or a creature, open or close a door or a container, grapple someone, or make an unarmed strike. Your ohm might allow other simple tasks to be added to that list of options.
Your trunk can't wield weapons or shields or do anything that requires manual precision, such as using tools or magic items or performing the somatic components of a spell. Simic hybrids, also a race from GGTR P. 2021, they're basically bio-engineered crossovers of different species. When you reach 5th level with a character of this race, you can choose among several physical alterations, one of which is the following. Grappling appendages. You have two special appendages growing alongside your arms. Choose whether they're both claws or tentacles. As an action, you can use one of them to try to grapple a creature. Each one is also a natural weapon, which you can use to make an unarmed strike. If you hit with it, the target takes bludgeoning damage equal to 1d6 plus your strength modifier, instead of the bludgeoning damage normal for an unarmed strike. Immediately after hitting, you can try to grapple the target as a bonus action. These appendages can't precisely manipulate anything and can't wield weapons, magic items, or other specialized equipment.